Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Fernando. I am a licensed professional civil engineer in the state of Texas. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you all about a typical day as a land development consultant. I think I get this question asked a lot. People ask me, you know, what do you do on a day-to-day -day basis? And I think that answer varies depending on where I'm at in my career. I think for someone who is six years into their career, uh, they've now taken an opportunity to, to lead projects, to be able to lead teams. And so that's kind of what I want to be sharing to you all about, you know, my typical day in a life of a civil engineer. And so, you know, one of the cool things about working in commercial real estate and commercial land development is that the pace is very fast. Um, I'm required to wear multiple hats on a day-to-day -day basis. Sometimes I'm working with clients. Sometimes I'm working with my team. Sometimes I'm working directly with, you know, uh, the city. And so it's important to really realize that, you know, when you do this type of work, you're going to have to switch gears quickly. Uh, sometimes you have to be behind a computer and work on that. And so, you know, I kind of go over my schedule on what you could expect on a typical day. I think, again, like I mentioned, a typical day isn't really a thing because every single day is different. Every single day has its own, you know, fires that you have to put out. And so what's exciting about that is that it's very easy uh, not to get bored um, because you're always constantly being pushed to think outside the box and to you know solve new problems as a, as an engineer on a today day basis you know how does my day start well my day starts with uh, catching up with email and catching up with phone calls you know do I need to make any quick phone calls that morning is there people that I've been trying to get a hold of that have not called me back or that I need to leave a voicemail to or talk to and so what I end up doing is making those phone calls early in the morning I also catch up on emails anything that's critical high importance take care of those items first. And it also gives me an understanding of, you know, does anything require my attention that day? And there's no way around that. And if that's the case, and I have to take a look back into my schedule and really understand from a, from a macro perspective, are other projects going to be impacted if I put all my attention on this one particular project? And so again, like I mentioned, my day starts that way, emails and phone calls. Then after that, you know, if I'm working on a project that, requ that has a meeting, uh, sometimes that's the way it works. Meetings are early in the morning. You have a quick standing meeting with your team or to understand what their priorities are for that day. If they're going to require attention from you so you can put time aside for either coaching, you know, younger engineers, EITs, or working with CAT technicians to, to understand, you know, how they're going to be able to push those projects forward. You know, that, that could be the thing that I focus on that morning. Then from there, from working on those meetings, you know, you can have a kickoff uh, for a new project or you can have a kickoff for, you know, working with the client to really understand their needs on how they want you to design their project. Because at the end of the day, we want to make sure that their reality becomes, you know, true. And so, again, uh, that could be another another thing that I'd be working on. Uh, then I could go into design, be working with AutoCAD Civil, be working in Excel, be working with, you know, Hydroflow Express doing design uh, calculations. And so that could be another, um, you know, part of my day. And by the time you know it, it's lunchtime. You know, it's really understanding, okay, what have I done today? Are things in progress? And then after lunch, then it's really understanding, have I done what I need to do that morning? And if no, I need to switch gears and work on that for the rest of the day. Uh, you know, on, on not, a typical time, not a typical day, but at least once a week or every other week, I'm required to go out to the, to the site to look at construction progress. And so that could be part of my day as well. Going out there, seeing where things are at, trying to understand if the contractors need more information, or if things are being built per the plans, right? And so you go out there, you really inspect and see what things are going on, um, and then just kind of report back to the client and report back to your design team to see if things are moving uh, on schedule and on budget. And then after that, you know, you can, your day kind of comes to a close. Uh, you really kind of figure out what needs to happen for the following day and uh, just plan accordingly. But again, you know, every day is different. Every day has its own responsibilities. Every day has its own fires. So what's cool about, you know, working in civil engineering is that every single day can be very different. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy that. And if you guys have any specific questions on the work that I do, uh, please let me let me know in the comments. I'll be sure to address those either in the comment section or I'll make a new video specifically on a, on a part of my day or a part of the design process. Just let me know in that regard. And uh, you know, please make sure you drop a like. Please make sure you subscribe. It really helps the channel out. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying this content. Thank you.